Okay, we are here for the world premiere of the unfortunate faces of Portia Dupree. I got my man Rob, Chris, and Yosai. They are the lead detectives in the movie, is that correct? That's right, that's yeah. right. All right, so tell us a little bit about the movie and your role. Uh, the movie's a mystery. Okay. It's told in flashback and interrogation. Okay. Uh, I'm one of the lead detectives along with these two gentlemen who are trying to piece the case together. Okay. Now, you the one in charge. Who like the lead lead detective? Like who the boss? I want to know who the boss is. He the boss. Officer, Officer Spicer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, wish now every crew it looked like three of y'all. We got the boss. Right. right. We're gonna have a straight laced guy. We're gonna have a knucklehead <laughs> guy. So which one is which? Uh, no, rough, he's a rough one. He's a rough one. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm he like too smooth over here. Trying to, yeah, I try to. Be. Okay, you, you, know, you like Mike Lowry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So tell us a little bit about you know your role over. I know you're the detective. I mean, yeah, I'm the one who's the, the nice detective. I'm the good, I'm the good cop. Okay. He's the bad cop. Okay. He keeps us together. So right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. So when y'all they get too far out of line, especially him, you're the bad one. You, you get them back in line. I come in to clean up the mess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are some of the things, let's say, that you really enjoyed and things that they should be looking for in the movie? Uh, I, I would say just the, the plot, you know, is, is very unique. Uh, Terry did a great job writing the movie. Um, uh, I, I, I would just say look for, you know, just the... You, you can't think about what's going to happen in this movie because it's just... You just never know, you know. So it's just as you see. Yeah, yeah. So it's just it's just that good. It's written that good that you just don't know. It like, ain't one of the movies that you just know what's gonna happen the next scene. So it's just it's good yeah. like that. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So is anybody anything real, real, super funny happened on the set that you know when y'all think about it like, oh man, I can't, I, I can't believe that happened. Any jokesters, pranksters, anything like that? Put his beard together was funny. You know what I'm I think his no, beard was funny. Beard, no, your, your beard was the funniest, yo. His beard. Put his beard together was funny. Is it like Beard Wars or something? Yeah, he actually got about? the Beard Award, actually. Actually. Okay, yeah. I did. But yeah. <laughs> putting his on was a little different. So okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. So we got the Beard Awards and right. the Beard Wars here, but we're going to bring it all back together. We're back once again at the world premiere at the Unfortunate Faces of Portia Dupree. I had a cast here, got Ryan A. Yolanda. Anissa. Now, tell us a little bit about the story. I heard it's not told linear, linearly, excuse me, it's told from flashback? Yes, like as you just said, the story is told in flashback. So you start out at the beginning of the movie seeing a very um, suspect scene with all of us gathered around trying to figure out who killed Portia Dupree. So without giving too much of the details away, I'm going to leave it at that, but it's definitely a thriller mm -hmm. and you're going to be surprised by the ending. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, are you guys telling it do we see you guys interact in a movie I mean like you guys are on camera too and I mean, how, how do y'all do that from flashback all of the above, <laughs> all of the above. a little bit of all of the above, all of the above. <laughs> that's good now what would you say would be like let's say the most exciting part of it from your standpoint of what you saw in the movie um just finding out who did it and um I don't know there's like a lot of people that you think did it but who knows? You'll just have to watch. Now, you guys suspects too and could possibly have done it or? Y'all look kind of, yeah. wait, y'all looking kind of <laughs> suspect right now. Okay. Y'all yeah. uh, <laughs> might have did it. I don't know. She kind of quiet. She might be the one that actually, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all right. Y'all going to check it out. We're going to see who actually did it, who done it, and all of the above. Uh, keep it locked here to Unfortunate Faces of Portia Dupree. I got the cast here. These are the ladies that are going to narrate the story, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm here with the star. The main character. The main character. Yes. I just met you, I think. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Portia. Portia. No, I'm kidding. I'm Chris. Okay. You're Chris and Portia. I'm Chris Portia. In I real life. Personality. I already knew that part, but in real life, you're Chris. In the movie, you're Portia? Correct. There we go. Correct. And with Miss? I am Shelly. I play Stephanie, Portia's sister. Okay, y'all sisters in the movie? Yes. Y'all kind of look like sisters in real life. We are. Oh, are y'all really? For fake? Y'all like play cousins? Sisters in the spirit, my brother. Sisters in the spirit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so tell us a little about, about the movie, about your character um, and everything. Well, I play Portia Dupree, and Portia has probably been the most challenging role I've ever had to play because it required her to be nothing like myself. So I'm really excited. I haven't seen the film in its entirety yet. So it's a, it's a, it's a movie that you would not expect from Streets of Gold Ministries because we are a Christian-based. Um, a Christian-based public, pub, 
how do you say it? Production house. Okay. <laughs> My producers on the other side, like, hey, okay, but yeah, but you know, it still keeps it. We keep the faith, how without any type of profanity or, or lewd remarks or anything like that. So we give you a great story from a Christian perspective. Okay, now you said the character is nothing like you, so you gotta explain that one for me. I think I disagree with that. Oh, I, I knew. Hold on, I'm gonna get your disagreement. One no, second. no, what she got to say? No, what you no, got to no, say? I, I no, 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 so no. <laughs> Go ahead. No, it's a very unique story, and it's. Um, I worked with Terry on several projects, and I think this is by far one of her greatest works. Okay. Um, as far as Chris is concerned, she was absolutely phenomenal. Um, a little, a little eccentric at times, which the character called for. <laughs> but you said it was nothing. You said it was nothing like you. You're right. I am very eccentric. Okay. 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 The truth then came out now. But it, it, it yeah, it was it's it's a wonderful story, wonderful plot, um, fabulous characters. Cast. Yeah, okay. the, the cast, the, the awesome. cast is awesome. Yes. So yes, yes. I'm excited. I too have not seen it in in its entirety, but uh, I'm excited. That's awesome. Now tell me a little bit about the director and the oh, writer. Oh, Terry, we don't have that much time. Boom, we'll begin ready to start. Um, the writer, director, um, Terry LB, she is phenomenal. I've worked on multiple productions with her, as well as her, um, I guess he's executive producer, her husband, Joseph Sofer, yeah. as well as Antoine Baptiste. Okay. The guy with the really big muscles, in case you don't remember his name, that, were, that'll be him. He, the um, other guy with the really big muscles. <laughs> okay, <go ahead>. um, <laughs> I mean, this team together, the entire production team was amazing to work with. It was definitely a professional experience, um, one that I yearn for every time I do a project. And I don't, I couldn't say enough about Terry, but you can look her up, streetsofgoldenministries.com. You can also Google Terry LB. Um, check out the unfortunate faces of Portia Dupree, you know, all that good stuff. You can find her, trust me. She's on Facebook too. She's one of my friends, so you can find her on my page. <laughs> okay. So tell everybody, you know, what, what's the one scene like is going, you know, we can't give, them the, give it away, but like what's the one scene they kind of need to be like, you know, paying attention? Um, all of them. All of them. But I think my favorite scene was the one when I kind of go head to head with my sister. Okay. Um, and we'll just wait for the outcome yeah, of that. Yeah, so come on. <laughs> If you haven't seen it yet, you can check us out in many places that we will be featuring and doing our premieres. We'll be in Georgia, Florida, somewhere in Indiana, I'm not sure yet. Film festivals are on the way, and eventually the DVD will be available. So all you got to do is keep checking back to streetsofgoldministries.com and find out when and where. All right? Oh, I'm sorry. You're hosting. <laughs> nope. I guess that's it. She just wrapped it up, folks. Get out of here. Okay, here again, world premiered, Unfortunate Faces of Fortune Dupree. I'm here with the cast. I got... Wayne Hilson. And you play... I play Mr. Dupree. I play Pops. Mr. Dupree, mm -hmm. Pops. Yes. I'm Christopher Huffman. I play the role of Jimmy. Okay. I'm Bernal Dillingham. I'm the medical examiner. Uh, Tony Whitaker, and I play John, the boss. Oh, John, the boss. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who I should talk to, the boss or daddy first. Oh, I don't know. I want to get up and pop. I get, he going to whoop me, but I might get fired if I mess with him. Okay. 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 All right, daddy. Tell us. That, is, that was real awkward. Pause. Okay. All right, man. Tell us about the movie. Tell us about your role. And um, I play uh, Mr. Dupree. And ironically, I can't tell you too much about it. Okay. Because my role um, is, is part of the mystique of the entire movie as far as the, the back and forth. The, some of the secrets, some of the lies, some of the truths, and it is. Um, so I can't say too much. But it was I was a first timer. Okay. And so uh, Antoine and Terry uh, treated me treated me great. So I okay. appreciate. Okay. That's you awesome. Mean, That's awesome. So you're the medical examiner. Yes, I'm the one who examines the Miss Portia. Okay. <laughs> Her dead body. Okay. <laughs> You look kind of excited about that, like you were, uh, like you were, nah, it was, it was, <laughs> it was a very shocking experience. Very shocking, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. you don't do nothing like that in real life as far as, you okay. know, you never examined the body, no, no, nothing no, like no, that no, before. No. I went to CSI training, but I didn't go all the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I, I want to talk to the boss over here. <laughs> let me talk to, the, let me talk to the boss over here. Tell me about your role. I mean, you're the boss and everything. Uh, well, actually, uh, yeah, I, I'm the boss of one of the, uh, characters in the movie and um, just again really can't tell you too much because it's it's one of those things where you, you just got to watch and see what's going on with it and all that and um, yeah it, it, it'll play out once, okay. once you see it okay. you'll be like oh okay, okay. That, that's the boss so, so this is <laughs> all I, 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 
actually like the the comedy relief of, okay. the, of the film. Yeah, uh, the cl- as you can see. Yeah, yeah. so you know, I, I make it happen, give you the laugh, make, make it do what it do. Okay, so we got a little bit of comedy. It's a mystery because they, they ain't told me nothing. I didn't ask every question in the book. He couldn't tell me nothing. He couldn't tell me nothing. Y'all try to make the next film. Y'all know I'm getting ready to see it like in five minutes. I mean, by the time somebody see this, they they go. You're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out. Oh, it's y'all. like top secret over here. Obama oh, yeah. and them, they don't know nothing. They don't know it. Can, can no. you tell me anything? You play Jimmy. Can you tell me anything? You know, I play Jimmy. I play the role of Jimmy, and I'm just being seduced in the movie. So oh, okay. I don't have too much to say. I don't want to give anything away, but my part is pretty seductive. Okay, well, you, 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 you getting seduced or you doing the seduced? I'm, I'm trying I'm to. I'm the seducee. I'm just being seduced. Oh, okay. Uh, they took uh, advantage uh, of you, didn't they? They did take advantage of me. Boy, oh, but boy. I <laughs> Okay, I'm here with the director and the writer, Antoine. Now, you got to say your name because I want you to say it the way you told Terry me your name. Terry L to the B, Sofa. Terry L B, Sofa. The, exactly. She said it. I didn't say it. So y- y- y'all know I'm in the house. Terry L to the B. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm here with the director. Tell me about the movie. Oh, this is going to be um, It's a very, very good suspense. Uh, just stay tuned. It's a good movie. Uh, the, the goal was on this particular project was to make a movie that you can't categorize as urban. Okay. It's a movie, period. Um, and that's the whole thing for us to try to bring to you just a great movie. Just enjoy. Don't categorize it as anything. Just watch it and love it. And, hey, we put all our heart into it. So, gotcha. Hey. Now, we know you did the writing for everything. Yes. So tell me how it was writing it, dealing with the director, because I know sometimes the director and the writer, you know, you got the vision, and then you got the vision maker. How did this all work out? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You, no, did you get actually, in trouble? I enjoy writing. Writing is what I do. I don't do anything else but writing. That's okay. all I do. Okay. Um, he is the one that would have had a problem with me, because I'm pretty sure reading the script, he would have been like, what in the world is she thinking? <laughs> this is some crazy stuff. <laughs> um, so... That's where I was when I wrote it. Okay. I'm like, Lord, this is something completely different. This is completely out of the box for Streets of Gold. Um, like Chris Style said, we are a, a, a gospel, inspirational, Christian, contemporary production company. So for us to do something like this was completely, he's obviously looking for some bigger fish. Okay. Um, Antoine was as crazy as I am writing mm-hmm. and, and creativity. This brother is insane because he did some stuff in this film that I had to go back into the script and say, what page was that on? Where would he have gotten that from? A little, little it's, creative. He is insane good. God truly, truly, truly blessed us with this collaboration because I don't know. We couldn't have done it. There's no way we could have done it. Okay. Paper is good. Pen is, is good. But mm-hmm. when you put film and and these phenomenal cast and, and the crew and my husband and my God, what favor. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna preach, but anyway, <laughs> what favor. Portia and Shelly and the officers and everybody did such a stellar award winning performance. It was, it's breathtaking. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Man, hey, I, all I gotta say is, whenever you accept your award, she need to do, <laughs> right, right, right. She got, she, she gotta have her come out there and do the whole thing I'm just for you. I'm going to sit back and say, go ahead, Terry. You said everything for me. But that was good. I want to cry now. <laughs> don't cry. This is like Jerry Maguire. Like, right, right. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> now tell me what you enjoyed about making the movie. You did the editing or the directing. I did, or what I did, I did you dire- directing and editing, but the, what I loved about directing the film is everybody was just <clears throat> easy to work with. Mm-hmm. It was a well-oiled machine. Okay. So because of that, we got things done fast, in order. And it made it so much easier when I went to the editing board mm-hmm. that, like I said, it's a good movie, man. That's all I can say. Watch it. Watch it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anything y'all want to tell the people before we sign off? I mean, y'all the last two I got. I got the, the two big guns, the director and the writer. Well, you got two of the three big guns. Okay. My husband's not in, in the uh, uh, interview. But Streets of Gold Productions, we do movies, music videos, music, stage plays. I don't know what we don't do. Okay. So hit us up, www.streetsofgoldproductions.org, streetsofgoldproductions.org, streetsofgoldproductions, Chris Styles, dot org, Streets of Gold <laughs> Productions. Okay, and Antoine, we're going to ask her, can you do his plug for him too? Do my plug. Do his plug. What, what does he want to say? 
Antoine says, Mama, I'm sorry about all the times I disappointed you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> sorry, That's man. It. I'm going to give you all that money back I borrowed and stuff. I'm tripping. It went to a good year. <laughs> all right, we started that.